The last step on creating our voice thread is to decide how we're going to share and publish our voice threads. If you click on the share tab, you can choose to invite someone to this voice thread. So if I knew maybe a surf or another teacher in my school had um, a voice thread account and I wanted to add them and to join in on a voice thread, then I could send them an email and just enter in their email address here and go on that way and it'll send an invite to them but the tool I use most often is to get a link and that will allow me to see this little link right here I can either highlight it or I can just click here and that will copy that link into my clipboard on my computer and now I could paste that link in an email and send it to anyone to, to share or I could post that link on a web page for someone to click on um, so that's how you share the voice thread. Before you share your voice thread, it's important to set your publishing options. So there's a couple options under publishing. I can choose to allow anyone to view and anyone to comment, or I could click that off, and this will mean that my voice thread is private, and no one else can see it. I'm the only one who can edit it. The other option is to just click that everyone can view it, but not allow others to comment it on it. And then another option is to allow anyone to comment on my voice thread. Now what I often do is make my voice threads open for everyone to view it and everyone to comment on it for a certain amount of time. So if we were doing the project or the activity for a week, then I would leave it open for a week and then at the end of the week I would take that off and change that so that no one else could add to it after then. Another option is is to moderate your comments. So if my voice threads open, I want every comment to come through me first before it shows up publicly on that voice thread. So if I click moderate comment, then ev I get an email or a notification that every every time there's a comment added to my voice thread, and I'll show you how to moderate this in a second. Your very last option is to show on the browse page. If you remember at the very beginning we looked at the three different tabs in voice threads, the browse, create, and my voice. And the browse was where there are all sorts of example public voice threads. If I click this here, then my voice thread will show up on that browse page. I don't normally do that when it's just my student work unless there's something phenomenal that we've created we want to share with the world. Um, so I'm going to leave my this particular voice thread open for people to look at and people to comment on. And I'm also going to click on moderate comment, and then I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now if I go into comment, I record. Testing, testing, comment number two. Okay, I'll save that comment. So now when I see my new comment, because it's on moderate, I can choose to close testing, the window. Comment number two. So right here I've got the hide comment. So here's that curtain. To show testing, the comment, testing, I comment click on it. Two. So when my comments are been moderated, I will see I will see when I log in my comments show up around the outside of my voice thread, and I'll have to go and individually open that curtain on every single comment. 